Italy is known for being one of the world's most beautiful destinations, and there are so many things to uncover here. Its architecture and nature are so diverse that there is a clear need to pick principal Italian locales for first-time travelers to appreciate as much beauty on their first trip as possible. So, join Travelers Nirvana as we provide you with our list of the top 10 most beautiful places to visit in Italy so that you can grasp the sheer appeal of its all-pervading charm and indulge in one of the world's most beautiful places. Number 10. Porto Otolu A fisherman's village as late as two decades ago, Porto Otolu, with its amazing beaches, is one of the best places to visit in Sardinia, an island known for its balmy climate, unique nature, and architectural marvels, such as the island's coastal towers. Porto Otolu is not just a great climate, it also has superb hiking grounds, mouth-watering, fair, and accommodations at a good value. It's also some of Italy's most pristine coconut milk white beaches, lapped by the beautiful waters of the Mediterranean. Number 9. Pisa Known for its leaning tower and its renaissance edifices made of rose brick, Pisa is also a youthful university town with choice architecture, kinetic bar and dining culture, and great wine. To see its amazing architecture, head to the main square, where along with the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa, you can find the Pisa Cathedral and the Pisa Baptistry of St. John, a Roman Catholic ecclesial building. But Pisa is also a great place to enjoy nature. Head here in May for a hike along Piazza dei Puri hiking trail stretching for over six miles and featuring pristine nature and amazing beauty. Number 8. Ravello Known as the musical capital of Italy, Ravello is brimming with picturesque churches, villas, and other architecture. But it is primarily thanks to its summer music festival that most visitors flock here. Head for the musical performance solo or with your friends and take pleasure in the imposing beauty of the surroundings and the hilly landscape overlooking the Amalfi Coast. Ravella also has some delicious restaurants, and its vicinity is one of the best places to escape the summer heat in a scenic, lush setting. Number 7. Bari Known for its old town and stunning cathedral, Bari is home to the relics of St. Sebastian and is thus of great religious significance to Roman Catholics. Its architecture, both lay and ecclesial, can fascinate both a curious visitor and an accustomed local. First and foremost, make a visit to Basilica and St. Nicola, the prayer house, which is home to the relics of St. Nicholas, one of the most revered Christian saints and is one of the most significant architectural attractions of Bari and the south of Italy in general. Then you can venture to the old town and uncover its quaint charm. After a stroll around the charming city center, make your way to the Swapian Castle, a 13th century fortress, which has become one of Italy's topmost exhibition centers. Then make your way to Basilica of St. Sababio, a Romanesque church containing ancient relics. In the evening, you can enjoy Bari's rich cultural life. First, no trip to Bari is complete without a visit to the magnificent ballet and opera theater, Teatro Prazuli, with a relaxing stroll afterwards, opening myriad opportunities for a pleasant night and a dinner at one of Bari's restaurants with its signature seafood, washed down with some prime bulgia wine. But Bari offers a chance not just to delight in its mouth-watering Italian fare, its fragrant wine and convenient locals, but also in splendid architecture pieces and unique nature. There are many beautiful places around Bari to go hiking and take photos of the region's many scenic trails. Number 6. Porto Servo Have you been dreaming of spending a holiday like a billionaire? Then head to Porto Servo, the pearl of the sunlit island of Sardinia, for a stay at one of the most popular jet-setting meccas. A playground for the super-rich, done out in the Moorish, Spanish, Italian, Greek fashions. The resort was conceived by Aga Khan, a Pamiri spiritual leader and tycoon, and has been considered one of the most beautiful Mediterranean locales. Head here in April-October for warm weather, great hiking along its beaches, paradise-like stretches of sand washed by crystal-clear waters, and a visit to rare architectural marvels like Sardinia's scenic coastal towers best done on a private boat trip. Also, don't forget that for the complete Sardinian sojourn, it is advised to rent a private yacht to sail along the stunning coast of Smaratel and have a look at Sardinia's small lake fishermen villages and hard-to-access beaches.
Number 5. Milan Once considered a bleak northern town, Milan is a fashion and economic powerhouse whose culture features not just Italian, but also northern influences. On your visit to Milan, you can delight in not just Ambrogio fusion cuisine and enjoy the wealth of opportunities in Europe's principal fashion capital, but also see unique architecture. Some examples of Milan architecture include, but are not limited to, Doma Cathedral, a significant prayer house, Casa Frescesco, a stunning military fortress doubling as the peninsula's prime museum of sculpture and applied arts, and magnificent basilas such as Basilica San Rosio Maggiore, surrounded by the city's maze of canals, and built as early as Roman times. One of the best things to do in Milan is to sense its kinetic vibe to go to Vigili, a beautiful area situated to the south of the downtown, featuring canals, lovely watering holes, and a spectacular townscape. Number 4. Naples Naples, apart from its stunning cityscape and culture, boasts scenic nature and unique sites like Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii, and the beautiful Amalfi Coast. Head to Naples to see its awe-inspiring robust castles, the placid promenades along the bay, or to visit its authentic Pompeii town, a town frozen in time, buried under ash in a volcanic eruption and as a result of this, impeccably preserved up to this day. To uncover its most particular, head first to Naples National Archaeological Museum, to study the city's tumultuous past, or just marvel at the intricate mosaics. Then take a tour of the downtown, with a visit to the picturesque Hill Perch Castle Nouveau, or Sea Fringing Oval Castle, complete with event halls. There is Piazza de Placito, a traffic street square great for taking kids out, and the Catacombs of Naples, which are decent rivals to those in Rome. Number 3. Rome One of the world's main tourist destinations, Rome is home to such iconic landmarks as the Colosseum, Trevi Fountain, the Forum, and Pantheon. To add to this, Rome is well known for its cuisine and religion, with its Vatican serving as the seat of the Catholic Church, while its ambrosial food makes it a variable place of pilgrimage for food connoisseurs. Head on a walking tour around the Italian capital's topmost landmarks. For example, you can go on a tour of the magnificent and awe-inspiring Colosseum, Marvel at the beauty of the Trevi Fountain, stroll in the lush greeny of Villa Borghese, and marvel at the Etruscan art at Villa Grea. Or you can make your way to Palatine Hill, the main archaeological site of the former Roman Empire with impeccably preserved vestiges of this mighty dominion, and home to palaces of imperial emperors from as early as the times of Augustus. You can set on a visit to Rome's magnificent catacombs, a network of underground tunnels serving as an ancient burial place. Quite a spooky traveling experience. Head to Travester whose back lanes are alive with authentic restaurants and wineries, and whose streetscape is really nice for evening walks. Or, pay a visit to Tuskio, a once working class area that has been rapidly gentrifying and is teeming with hipsters. You can go trekking along River Trejo and a trail taking you through a scenic volcanic valley, submerged in lush vegetation and thus almost completely shaded. So, make your way to Rome to marvel at its beautiful townscape and other gems. Number 2. Venice Even though often thought somewhat mainstream, Venice is just as beautiful as always. Crisscrossed with canals, Venice is a treasure trove of Renaissance art and architecture, and is one of the world's most romantic cities. Whether traveling on a plane or train, your trip will be different from what you were used to. You have to sail around town with the boat station serving as a bus stop, for the city is made of canals. And it is along these scenic waterways that lie Venice's main treasures, its palatial buildings and mazes of streets where beauty and eternity seem to intertwine and rule jointly. To experience the mesmeric pool of the town, head first to San Marco Square, where the scenic Italian Gothic jewel, San Marco Basquilla, is located. Then proceed through the labyrinth lane, sneaking around its way to embark on a Veretta ride, one of the best ways to see Venice from water. It is like this that you can explore the many islands that are scattered along the lagoon. One of the best islands is San Michel, which is also the burial grounds of one of the city's most fateful lovers, Joseph Brodsky, the author of Watermark and Ode to Venice. Back in town, don't miss out on Venice's nightlife, whose appeal made Venice as popular as it is. But it is not your regular run of senseless tipping and dancing, it is great theater and ballet performances that shine through the Venetian night. For example, head to Teatro La Venice, an opera house and one of the most important attractions of Italian theater. Or visiting in spring, head to the Venetian Benelli, 
one of the art world's most famous jamborees. To get some choice music, you can go to the local Venice Jazz Club with its legendary atmosphere opening up the world of the truly Venetian pleasures. With this special vibe making every blow of wind even more fragrant with the anticipation of nocturnal bliss, if visiting in summer. But even though summers are so warm, Venice is just as well visited in winter. It is also in winter, more precisely in February, that the Venetian carnival unfolds and draws in tourists from all over the world. So whether snow or sunshine, Venice is one of the best places to visit in Italy, and a great spot to start your Italian journey. Number 1 Florence Florence boasts arguably one of the world's highest shares of architectural and cultural gems per capita, and is a must-visit if on a trip to Italy. But it is not just prime architecture like its Duma Cathedral and great museums like Florence's Uffizi Gallery. It is also ambrosial food and great restaurants like Buca Lepi. Start your trip with a visit to such must like Ponte Vecchio Bridge, a unique medieval bridge. Walking here is a variable time-traveling experience. Or Michelangelo Museum devoted to arguably the world's most famous Florentine, along with Dante Alighieri, whose house is also among the top tourist attractions. Then after lunch at one of the city's many pizzerias or spaghettierias, you can proceed with more art and culture, swinging by the Uffizi Gallery and heading to more green spots, like the splendid Bavoli Gardens, one of Italy's most beautiful historical parks, and the nearby Pitti Palace. To go cycling or take your loved ones for a picnic, head to Parco del Cassine, a huge green space, in spring, you can sense the fragrant blooms and revel in the light blossom sweet breeze. One of the most beautiful places in Florence is Giardio Bardi Gardens, part of a villa complex housing a splendid art gallery, and one of the best places to take photos, smell the spring, or bring your kids to frolic about. Well, unfortunately, we've come to the end of this amazing video. We hope you enjoyed it and ask that you please leave your thoughts of our selections in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.